Well, Julie, even after dark here at Minnehaha Falls, we're still seeing people walking around the park. No matter the time of day, people do just want to get out of their homes any way they can. And most, if not all, of the major regional parks and trails in the Twin Cities metro area are still open. But as you mentioned, a lot of them have different rules, and they are asking you to please follow those. The spectacle of Minnehaha Falls drew the Clark family out of quarantine. That has been the highlight of our days, like just to get out and have a family walk. They had company. This is probably the most in social interaction I've had in the last like few weeks here. I try to avoid uh, people, yeah. Everybody's trying to be polite, but nobody really wants to talk with one another. So it's like little eye movements and little your <laughs> body language is kind of di directing everybody's traffic. As a helpful reminder, the park board put up signs across Minneapolis telling you to stay six feet apart at all city parks. I guess I've been trying to maintain my distance out of respect for other people. The park board also asks that you stick with people from your own household, avoid hanging out at the park all day, and bring your own water bottle, wipes, and hand sanitizer because restrooms are shut down. It'd be nice if some of the, pub, the park bathrooms were open, but I get why they're not. St. Paul Parks and Recreation has offered similar guidelines, just with more restrictions at certain locations. St. Paul has already decided to close its playgrounds and athletic courts, and Minneapolis says it would have to think about doing the same if people don't follow the social distancing rules. On playgrounds, Minneapolis asks that you only have one household use equipment at a time. And on courts, the park board banned team sports to emphasize the six-foot rule. In other words, don't be Minnesota nice. Yeah, it's, it's kind of against everything we stand for, so hopefully it doesn't last much longer. But you can still bike, you can still walk your dog, and you can still gaze at Minnehaha Falls. No rules against that. Otherwise, it would be hard sitting in the house. So I mentioned Minneapolis and St. Paul, but of course every municipality in Minnesota uh, has its own set of rules and we've tried to break down some of those on our website. So if you go to care11.com you can see what some of the cities are doing, but you can also just look at the website in your town or your city and a lot of them are putting out the rules here in terms of playgrounds and parks. Back to you.